All right, so this is Destiny 2, how to complete the planet encounter, the super simple way, or how to beat Zalric, the explicator of planets, very, very easy. So all you need to do is three simple steps. Step number one, line up the planets where they belong. Step number two, bring the correct planets to the center to start damage phase. Step number three, start doing damage by standing on the correct plates so you can actually do damage until you defeat the boss that's it three simple steps line up the planets where they belong bring the correct planets to the center to start doing damage phase and three just standing on the correct plate to do damage that is all we're doing in this encounter i don't know why people are overthinking it overdoing it just you know it's that's all we're doing all right so let's go ahead and explain step one which is lining up the planets if you're looking at the screen right now there's two main planets right now which is one is light and one is dark this is just representing each side the left side is the light side and the dark side is the right side and if you notice all the surrounding planets right now at the moment they're either light or dark and like i said the light planets belong on the left side and all the dark planets belong on the dark side so again that is just step one is just lining up the planet so to line up the planets you need to know which planets are light and which planets are dark and the only way to find out which planets are light and which planets are dark is by defeating the fat cabal there's going to be four triangles in the room they're all going to be facing the boss towards the back of the room and in these plates a fat cabal is going to spawn when you defeat this cabal that you're looking at right now, this fat dude right here, he's going to give you a buff, allowing you to see the surrounding planets on that plate or actually that specific side. So let's say you're on the dark side and you kill a cabal on the dark side. You'll be able to see both plates and which planet doesn't belong on those plates on the dark side. And same thing with the left side. Whoever kills any of the fat dudes on the left side will be able to tell both triangles which planets don't belong there. If that's not making any sense to you, pay attention to the screen right now. Like I said, when you defeat the Cabal, you'll be able to see which planets are which. And again, right now from this picture, you can easily tell which planet is which. There's two of them that are dark and one planet that is light. So since we're standing on the right side of the room, we need to move this light planet to the left side and at the exact same time that i'm doing this specific job finding out which planet doesn't belong with my triangle three other guys are doing the exact same thing on their triangles there's a total of four triangles there's a total of four cabals you want to defeat these cabals you want to get these buffs and again on these four triangles figure out which planet doesn't belong out of the three once all four players figure out which planet doesn't belong on their plate it's time to switch them to their proper location this is where the callouts come so if you're looking at the screen right now these are the callouts that we used we used the very simple the top of a triangle the left of a triangle and the right of a triangle and that's all represented the three placements where planets can be and like we explained earlier out of the three planets and each triangle one of them doesn't belong so when you find out which planet doesn't belong on your plate all you need to do is just go to that location grab that planet and also remember the location because we established earlier is either going to be top left or right from this screen that you're watching right now i'm grabbing left side of my plate and I'm grabbing it and I'm moving to the left side of the room because that's where the light planets belong. And at the exact same time, my teammate on his plate figured out which one doesn't belong and he's also grabbing it and crossing towards my plate. And as we're crossing, we're communi communicating to each other where we're dunking. Since I grabbed it from left, I'm gonna tell my teammate where, he, where I grabbed it from so he can place his and as he's crossing he's gonna tell me where he grabbed his from so I can dunk it on the specific location here's an example of a live preview of how it happened a couple of times and hopefully it makes sense because that's probably the main mechanic of this room it's very simple it's very easy it's not as hard as people think oh is there so much heavy in mid what is yeah. that Todd you're going right 
Uh, trust your mid or top. Sorry. Uh, you're right again. Uh, you're going top. Yep. And you said you're I'm going, going right. right, Apple, right? Yep, right. Alrighty. Jay, you're right. I don't know if you heard me. Gotcha. Hold on. Wait, what'd you say I was, Jay? Top. Oh my god. Uh, yours is. Rod, you're left. going right. Yep. You're going left. Yours is left, Jay. Yep. Yeah, you are right. Once you've completed this step, you have now lined up all the light planets on the left side of the room and all the dark planets on the right side of the room. Once you do this, the boss is going to choose three combinations of planets. He's going to choose either two light, one dark, two dark, one light. I've never seen him choose three dark or three light, but if it ever happens, all you have to do is just go to each side grab the corresponding planets and dunk them at the plates in the middle at the same time. One thing to take note here is not to grab the planets from the same triangle. As we said, to start damage phase, the boss is gonna pick three planets. They're either gonna be light or dark. It could be two light, one dark or two dark, one light. I've never seen them three of the same, but what you want to do is to make sure to grab the corresponding planets from different triangles. So let's say if he picked two dark and one light, you want to make sure to grab the two dark ones from different triangles, one from the top right and one from the bottom right. And then the light one can come from either direction and vice versa. Let's say if the boss decides to start damage phase, he picks two light and one dark. Make sure you grab one light from the left top left and make sure to grab one light from the bottom left and one dark side from any side it doesn't matter other than that once you get those three planets collected and dunked in the middle plate you get the start damage phase and regarding damage phase like we explained is very simple all you're doing is staring at the boss and looking at the color that he changes if you can tell right now he's orange which means that he's dark you stand on the orange dark plate he's gonna change pretty soon into a light color and all that means is he has to stand on the light plate if you notice his color right now he's kind of light in comparison to earlier where he was orange and now we're starting uh standing on this light plate and then in a second you're gonna see that he's gonna turn orange again which is kind of represented for the dark side and that's telling us to move to the dark side so we can continuously do damage and that is it that is the boss that is the planets very simple thank you guys for watching catch you guys in the next one peace